using the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the Perfect Brown. This is my current favorite pencil type of liner. It's very creamy, so it's easy to work with. And then with a liquid liner, I'm going to create the bottom of the wing. I'm using the Kaja Chocolate Dahlia Beauty Bento. Okay, so moving on to the face, I just wanted to get through the eyes before I start talking. First, I'm going to prime. My skin's been really dry lately, so I want to try an oil, actually. I'm just going to use it on certain really dry areas of my face, and then I'm going to use another primer. Mmm, this smells good. And then next, I'm going to use the Glowy Makeup Serum by Laneige. It's a really nice um, moisturizing makeup primer. Life updates. I have so much to update you guys on. I am considering moving out of LA. I noticed a lot of influencers are moving out of LA right now. They don't really need to be here because there's no events and everything. And then, you know, rent is just unrealistically high here. But the reason why I'm moving is because I do not feel safe here anymore. The apartment that I live in, it's like on a major street and it's sort of on a corner. So I'm not trying to dox myself. I mean, I'm most likely gonna move out soon anyway but it's a pretty nice looking building. So I can understand why a lot of people would target this building if they're trying to like rob somebody. For concealer, I'm using my favorite Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. So this is actually one of the main reasons why I've been stressed lately is trying to get out of this lease because I technically renewed it. At the time that I renewed it, it was in the middle of everything getting really bad. It was like April. And so I didn't think it was safe to like move around and look at apartments. I seriously regret it so much. So remember last year in my 20th birthday vlog when we were on the rooftop and then there's some random burglar who came in, right? So at the time, that was when the building was pretty secure. There wasn't as much crime as there is now around here because I have the citizen app. So I get notified like when there's a burglary outside or a carjacking or whatever. That was their first actual instant of something like that happening. And I expected them to actually instate some type of safety measures and they didn't. And then I know that they can't control this because this is like near downtown. It's not necessarily in downtown, but it's near it. So I know that there are some crimes that they can't control. So the crime rate in my area literally shot up after I re-signed the lease, so around May. But then, in July, there was a murder in the building. I don't know the exact details, like the building, I don't even know if they're telling the truth anymore because they said nobody broke in. But somebody broke in and shot somebody in the penthouse. And then whoever was there stabbed that, the intruder to death. The resident didn't die, but it, they could have, you know? The building says they claim that the two people knew each other and that one per like the resident let the intruder up um, into their unit and then that's where they got shot. It doesn't make sense to me. All the news sources say that it was a break-in and also I already don't trust this building so yeah after that they didn't inform anybody. How I found out everything was through news sources. I uh, emailed the building and I was like so are you gonna like tell us? because the residents deserve to know. After I emailed them, the building finally sent out an email that it was an accident and you'll be safe here, don't worry about it. So I was like, oh, okay, that's so cute. You're not even gonna tell us that somebody died. I mean, I guess it wasn't the resident that died, so they didn't really care, but I was just like, that's interesting that they left that out. Then just recently, I actually saw this was a Yelp review on the building's page. Somebody in the building said that there was one night that they were hanging out with their friends and 
they were coming back to their apartment and somebody followed them into their apartment. It was another resident who lived here and they had a knife and the person was trying to stab them. So they tried to calm that person down and then they called the building manager, security, whatever, and they didn't do anything about it. They were able to get out their lease because they didn't feel safe here anymore. Within a week or something of them leaving, literally the elevators, I walked down one morning and there were bloody footprints coming out of the elevators and they had covered up the elevators with like a plastic thing so you couldn't see. For the blood to actually travel down to your feet to make those type of footprints, that means a lot of blood is coming out of you. You know what I'm saying? Like usually your clothes would soak up the blood but for it to be able to drip down to your legs and like create a pool there, that's a lot of blood that they lost. Like, I hope they're okay. So of course the building doesn't email us about what happened. Of course they wouldn't, like, why would they? I emailed the building and I was like, what's going on here? Cause I saw the bloody footprints. Like, are you gonna tell me what happened? I mean, they probably think I'm so nosy, but I'm just worried. Like I'm very paranoid, especially since I've been using the stairwell to exercise. It's like, nobody's there, so. So if somebody stabbed me, like it would be like a week before somebody found my body. So I emailed the building manager. She said it was under investigation, so she can't tell me. But the resident who was involved was removed from the building and that they are looking to hire a night security guard. Okay, I'm gonna use the Kaja Spicy Cheeky Stamp. So I like to use these actually after I powder just cause they show up better. So that was actually very recent and that's when I started to really pressure them to let me out of this lease. Oh, also another thing is that they're paying people to remove their Yelp posts. Or maybe they're threatening them with lawsuits. But that guy who posted the review about somebody following him into his apartment, he removed it. And then my sister left a review. And they reached out to my dad and tried to get him to convince her to remove her review. So I've been apartment hunting in OC. I feel like OC is a nice, quiet area and it's pretty safe honestly anything safer than here because at this rate like i could probably just get murdered and they would just cover it up okay next for highlighter i'm using the makeup forever starlet powder Other things coming up, um, my sisters and I are thinking of starting a podcast together. I just think it would be fun. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. Perhaps you will see that coming soon. I think I've also just been looking for different creative outlets since getting on camera was really hard for me for a long time. And it still is, honestly. This year has been the worst for my mental health. When I sort of like veered off track this year and just wasn't... Um, I just didn't feel like I was as put together as I usually am. I thought for a long time that I was lazy. Like I just thought this was a random wave of laziness that was coming over me, but I think I might just be depressed. Finally, we're gonna do lips. This has been my favorite lip combo recently and I've been getting a lot of questions about it. So I'm using the NYX Natural Lip Liner and the Anastasia Pro Pencil in Base One. And then I'm just gonna use a balm on top. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Peach. It's my favorite lip balm at the moment. It smells so good. Actually, I kind of want to do something more brown to match with the chocolate theme. Let's try the peach puff in Brunchin. You guys know this is like one of my favorite lip formulas. This, it makes your lips look really soft and matte.
I'm probably gonna do a tutorial on how I do my hair with curtain bangs soon. This is the completed look. I hope you're safe and healthy and well, and I will see you next time. Bye.